Hello, hello, boys and girls, moms and dads, grandparents. It's time for another page in the Bible and Pictures for Little Eyes. It's page 46. And what do we have here? We have a bunch of people walking through a canyon, looks like, out into a desert plain. And look at that, there's a cloud. And all the people are just following that cloud. It doesn't touch the ground. It doesn't spread out in the sky. It looks like it's just, it just stays close to the people. And the people are just following the cloud. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, let's read the story that goes along with this picture. So God's people are going on a long trip. Oh, these are the children of Israel. They're leaving Israel. They're leaving Egypt to go to their promised land. But they don't know where to go. Only God knows where he wants them to go. So God is leading them to a good country. God has sent a big cloud that moves along in front of them, and they are following the cloud. Have you ever seen anything like that? I've never seen anything like that. Never, ever. God moves the cloud, and the people go wherever it goes. At night, the cloud becomes fire so that the people can follow it through the darkness, because at night you can see a fire from a long ways away. Yeah, that is how God tells them where to go. Boy, it'd be neat if we could see God like that now, huh? Yeah, God shows up in different ways today. So here's some questions that go along with this story. How do the people know where to go? Well, I guess the cloud moves. And they just follow the cloud. When the cloud stops, they stop. And when the, cl- the cloud gets up and starts to move, then they just, they just follow the cloud wherever it goes. Even at nighttime sometimes. Huh. Number two, who makes the cloud move? Does the cloud move all by itself? Is Moses moving the cloud? No. God is making the cloud move. God is the one who's leading the children of Israel around, yeah, to a special place, to a promised land where he wants them to be. You can read more about this in your Bible with words in Exodus chapter 13, verses 21 and 22. I sure enjoy reading these Bible stories to you each time. Make sure and subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Pastor Wayne H. Ding the bell so you get notifications whenever a new story comes out. And keep following the cloud. If God shows up in your life, make sure and follow him. He's got good plans for you and I. Join me next time for another page in the Bible and pictures for little eyes.